Hey YouTube, RoboBomb116 here. Um, today I've got the Tron Legacy Deluxe Sam Flynn Identity Disc. So yeah, I'm just going to do a review on that. Um, first of all, the box. Um, as you can see, the disc just sort of goes there. It's got a bit of a backdrop. Try me hole so you can press the button. And yeah, um, little pictures and stuff. Nice picture of Sam Flynn there. I mean, um, Kevin Flynn, sorry. Um, the back is pretty boring. No pictures. Um, so yeah. It also comes with a instruction manual or an owner's guide, whatever. Comes with six button cell batteries. Um, the disc and the display stand. It's now into the actual thing. Um, before I get to the disc, I'll just show you the display stand. It comes like that. It's got a hinge there. When it clicks into place, it's sort of like that. And the disc sits in there. It also says Tron Legacy on the front. Pretty hard to see. And yeah. Um, now the identity disc itself really nice detail it's pretty sturdy doesn't feel like if you drop it it's gonna you know smash into a million pieces um, on the back it's actually not so good because here these bits which on the front light up are just white so I don't really like that um, also the screws they haven't even been covered or anything I would have liked to see in like I don't know a magnetic screw cover or something just to make it look a little nicer. The battery compartment and speaker um, hold, they also kind of ruin it, but from the front looks brilliant, except for the button, which doesn't, it's not too bad. Um, now to the lights. Uh, it's got three settings. It's got a three-way switch. The middle is off. Um, to the right is, it says E. Um, that's like a try me and it's basically just for the sounds. Um, so I'll show you that. So you just put it on that setting. Yep, so that's the, I think that's everything. Um, so that's E. Then if you go to the 1, which is the on, um, you press it once. And then, um, it just sits there. That's, I, get, I think that's a dis maybe a display setting. Um, because if you press it now, it doesn't do anything. I didn't. That just it just does that automatically. That might just be for so you can have it sitting there, lighting up every now and then. But um, yeah, I was a bit worried with that when I first got it out of its package. I didn't know if it was, def you know, faulty or because now you can't do anything. So I don't know. Um, comment if you know what's up with that. Like, is this is this how it's meant to be? Um, the sides are a rubbery sort of plastic. You can see they bend a little bit. So I guess if you, you know, it's not going to, um, if you, you know, throw it, it's not going to, um, you know, crack or anything. So that's pretty neat. Um, as you saw, those bits light up. Um, the display stand's really good. It, um, you know, it's pretty, it kind of sticks in there. So it's like, you know, if I tilt it and stuff, I can put it back. A lot of people say that you have to put it in with either this bit, this bit where there's no that, you got to put that directly up or directly down, but I can just sort of put mine in however I want. So yeah, um, because that bit there where the, um, the rubber stuff goes into the stand, it sort of gives it grip, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so that's the disc. I'll get the lights off so we can see it dark. Um, you can't even see the, the disc, but what I will do is I'll turn on the Sony night shot. 
Um, you can see the disc just there. Okay, I'll turn it off now, shot, and then there you go. You can just see the disc now. Turn it on. So it's pretty neat. Um, put it in the stand. The stand is good because it's clear, so it kind of almost looks like it's floating. And um, this camera, it makes the light look blue. So the light isn't actually as blue as it looks on there. It's more sort of white and, yeah. So that's the identity, the Tron Legacy Deluxe Kevin Flynn Identity Disc. Um, definitely a must have for Tron fans. You should get, you should go down and um, pick one of these up if you're a fan of Tron. These, the Kevin Flynn ones are the rarest ones. They're pretty hard to find. Um, then the, it's either Rinsler or Clue, yeah, it's Rinsler. Then there's the Rinsler one, which is the second rarest, and then Sam Flynn, which is just the, the normal one. Um, so yeah, tape's good. Um, it's the weapon I was trying, if you, if you haven't seen Tron, you should also see that movie. If you like weapons, um, you should definitely click the link right there. Um, if you don't like weapons and you like sci-fi, you should click the link that's in there. And if you just like YouTube, then you should click the link there. So enjoy those links. Um, Robo Bomber 16 starting out. Um, yeah, definitely a must have for Tron fans. I'd rate it a 9 out of 10 because of the, you know, the ugliness of the back. Doesn't look as beautiful as the front, but um, yeah, it's pretty sick. Robo Bomber 16 starting out. Comment, rate, subscribe.